Okay, on to the chocolate. And you will notice that the chocolate is much um, thinner um, than the white chocolate, okay? Okay, so the bunny, do the bunny first here, all the way into the chocolate buttercream. Mm, twirl it around, tap underneath, twist off. Do the Easter egg. If it has a little uh, from the buttercream, like a little point, just push it down at this point before you cover it with the chocolate. So this will be one of our Easter eggs. And then this is going to be one of our Easter baskets. Sorry, I'm dipping it there because it's kind of better at my angle. Okay, so I'm just going to continue. Those are the different shapes, and then we have the squares. So I'm just going to continue to dip these, and then I'll show you how to clean them up, put them in the wrappers, and then later we'll be decorating them. Okay, we're back, and now they've set up. A lot of times it doesn't take very long to set up because the cake's frozen. Dipping in the chocolate sets up pretty quickly, unless it's during the summer months. So what you want to do then is take a little paring knife like this and just cut around the edges at the base. Just like this. Okay, and then we can put these on um, <clears throat> another tray, or what we're actually going to do is put them in their little wrappers in their liners. So I have the two different sizes. It's obviously not going to fit in the small one like this. I'm going to take the larger one, and since it's a long, uh, more of a rectangle type shape, I'm going to just take my fingers like this, take the carrot, and then pop it in like so. Okay, so it's going to be in the little wrapper like that. Okay, so that's the carrot. Um, all of them are pretty, pretty much the same. The squares. You can even, since it's hard for me to, whoops, get in there. I can kind of pick the whole thing up, move it, and then slice off the bottom. Okay, and these you're not going to get an absolute perfect square, or or I mean, pretty close, but you know you. You're not going to get like the perfect cut down at the bottom. I mean, that's kind of the point. Um, then you could take the wrappers and just kind of pop them in their wrappers like this. I guess I'll just use all white for, for this. Like I said, you could use the Easter decor if you want. Um, and then, let's see, so um, the bunnies, or I'm sorry, the little chick here. See how the whole thing will peel off? You just want to go around the edge like this. So we're just going to do the same thing on all of these. Pop them in their little cups. So the squares are the only ones that are going to fit in those small cups. And then all these do the same thing, kind of open it up a little bit and then pop it, pop it in so then you can, you know, present it that way. Okay. Um, one thing I did want to talk about just about the, um, the, uh, pour, the dipping of the pedophores. I notice I, I dip them with a skewer. Some people will prefer to, um, put all your pedophores on a cooling rack, you know, a grid cooling rack that has all the holes and then put parchment paper under it to catch the drippings and pour the chocolate over it. I find that you waste more chocolate that way because it, sometimes it's harder to get, you know, in the little groove of the sides and you end up pouring a lot more chocolate on there than you need to. Um, but it certainly, you can do that if you want. But if, if you're, I know there's probably a lot of people out there just wondering why I didn't do that that way because I just feel like you waste too much. Okay, so I'm going to trim the rest of these up and then get some buttercream um, in the bags and then we'll do the really fun part which is the decorating.